Okay, guys, so the first, I've just had a shower, as you can see. So I'm going to talk about the most important thing. It's cycling and running, aerobic exercise. Um, oh, I didn't mention before that I also have a degree uh, from the University in Birmingham, um, a Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sport and Exercise Science. So um, basically my life <laughs> was all about sport until I discovered Kizamba. Now, it's very dangerous and easy to get trapped into the psyche of thinking, oh, yeah, let's just go to the gym and pump weights, pump, 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 um, which does work. However, um, what I did, I had a look at a few things. I looked at basically the physique of different guys and I noticed, obviously, uh, that people who are doing free body, free weight, uh, free body, tra uh, bo free body, uh, weight training um, they seem to have incredible bodies so that was the number one thing that I that I thought about the second thing is um, another part of my life is football and I was very very lucky a few years ago because um, I met this guy called Roger Spry Roger Spry S-P-R-Y if you don't know him look him up because he's like the most in is the most, how can we say this, unfamous person in football, but it's one of the most important people. And he coached the Brazilian national team. He worked in Sport in Lisbon and he worked with Arsene Wenger at many, many places. And he's a very good friend of mine. I love him to bits. And he's, he used to be a professional footballer and he was the European kickboxing champion as well. So he's done a lot of things. Um, and needless to say, he's full of money. Uh, but he's a very, very humble guy and I love him to bits. And um, he, he's the type, he, this guy actually, I just want to tell you about him. He had an offer from Manchester City to become their, their coach, uh, fitness coach. However, he turned it down because he is the type of person who's very humble and doesn't believe in just taking, taking, taking money. And Manchester City, as you know, they're all about money. So he... This guy is so amazing, but a big inspiration to me that he turned Manchester City down. And one of the key things that he's into is functional training. So, and achieving best results in the smallest amount of time possible. And I used his training uh, for my son, who was recruited by Sport in Lisbon. Anyway, so um, I just want to let you know about my journey. So running and cycling been a big 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 thing for me not easy not easy at all um, when I started in September I used to go to my local basketball court and I would run 10 lengths I'm not even lying it was difficult like the pain in my legs the pain in my heart the pain in my chest was not nice not a nice feeling so I would do 10 um, and rest and then I would repeat but I could only really manage like six lengths at a time. So I had to break down my sets into small pieces. Uh, but bit by bit, I built it up. Um, and now thankfully, I can do easily like 50. Um, at the end of 50, um, I have the strength to, to do more. And I also have the mental strength to keep going if I want to. So what I've done is the best that I've done so far is two two sets of 50 basketball lengths uh, with, with like a one minute break in between and then after that I added in a lot of suicide runs and defensive basketball drills which are very very high intensity drills so I will put in the videos all of these drills uh, because they're very very important for agility movement flexibility and cardiovascular fitness which is very very important um, and the most important thing for burning fat because I noticed that even though I was going to the gym maybe like 10 years 10 no, let's just say six years ago with no aerobic exercise uh, I was putting on fat here there and everywhere um, so what was I gonna say yeah, yeah so hmm, can't remember Let's think about, uh, uh, 
Okay, so whilst running, yeah, on a basketball court, okay, on a basketball court, which is about 30 meters in length. So if you times 30 by 50, that's like 1,500 meters, which mm, doesn't sound far, but it actually is. It's quite, quite hard. And because you're continuously turning direction, having to start and stop, it uses more energy than just running a flat 1,500 meters in a row. In quarantine, you could just pick your road or your, your pavement and run back and forwards 30 meters 50 times and and then gradually add to it however as i said it took me about six months like to build this up every day and um, the other thing that I, I i started to do was when i moved house um i bought a bike a mountain bike and i started cycling to work every single day um sometimes twice a day because i have split shifts so that really helped me um, build my form and then um, I started cycling to the local basketball court um, and I didn't know how far it was actually until I looked it up recently but it's eight kilometers from my house and I used to cycle there in top gear um, four times a week um, and I used to cycle uh, at maximum speed so I would really really push it and then I would play basketball for two hours and cycle back so that's 16 kilometers that I would do anyway guys that is my first introduction for my training and I hope these words um, help push you in your training.